In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open two sequences in the Timeline Panel group and how you can cut and paste between them. So let's get started. I'm in Premiere Pro and you can see that I have a sequence open in the Timeline Panel group here called my Coffee Ritual. In this demo I want to show you how to work on two sequences at the same time so let's open the second sequence which is the sequence called demo. So we now have two sequences open in the timeline panel group down here at the bottom right. My coffee ritual and demo. If we want to open them both at once the easiest way to do that is to click and hold on the title of the sequence that is not currently displayed so click and hold and just move that down slightly so that you can see that it highlights this area right along the top of the timeline panel group and release the mouse and you'll see that you have both of these sequences open at the same time. That allows you to work and to cut and paste, copy and paste, whatever it is that you need to do from one sequence to the other. For example, if we wanted to take this clip and move it onto the demo timeline, I can click and hold and drag it down and put it wherever I would like to put that on the other sequence. I'll just type Control Z, go back to the way we were. Now, why would you want to do that rather than dragging clips from your project bin into the relevant timeline? Well, the answer is that you've probably already added various effects and attributes onto these clips in your initial sequence and you may not want to have to redo all of that again. So if you've used a Lumetri color panel or you've added other effects and transitions onto your clips, you can drag them down onto the other timeline, the other sequence uh, with all of those attributes intact. Or you can indeed drag several clips down onto the other timeline just as you may require. Again, I'll type Control Z to bring things back the way they were. There is another way to do this. The, the way I've just shown you is the best way, I think, to do it. But let me show you the other ways to do this. I'll close down both of those clips. And now what we'll do is we'll open them again. I'll open the demo sequence in the timeline and I'll also open the coffee ritual sequence in the timeline. And you can see that they're both open in the default way that Premiere uses to organize its sequences in the timeline panel group. But we can change that. And the way to change it is to click on the little menu at the side of the name of the sequence and go to panel group settings and choose stacked panel group. And you can see now that the sequences are stacked one above the other. But the problem is that there's only one open at any one time. And the reason for that is that by default, Premiere sets these timelines up in solo mode. And solo mode means that only one is open at any one time. But if we uncheck solo panels in stack, then we can open them both at the same time. Now, the other way that I did it is slightly easier and slightly more elegant in that it apportions the full amount of space within the panel group across the two sequences. So you don't have to resize them in order to get things looking the way you might want them to be. But the effect is the same in the end. Now, that's really useful to be able to copy things from one sequence to another within the timeline panel group. But supposing you wanted to do this between sequences that are actually in different Premiere projects. So let's just close down the demo for the moment. I'll close down the coffee ritual as well. And we'll open a recently used project, which is Copenhagen. So I've opened um, Copenhagen and it has opened within the timeline panel group. I'll just close down the sequence that's already there and we'll start again from scratch. So let's open the, the sequence Lego from the Copenhagen project. So it's open. And then let's just change to the coffee ritual project that I had previously opened and we'll open the my coffee ritual sequence from that. And you can see that it has opened the two. If it opened them in tabbed panels as opposed to stacked panels, 
then you know how to change it with the same technique that we have just used. But in this case, because I've set up the panels this way, it has opened them one above the other and we can copy things from one project to another using exactly the same techniques that we used before. So if I just give these a little bit more space, then you can see that we could drag from one to the other um, just as we wished. One word of caution though, when you're using sequences that belong to different projects, and that is you can certainly drag them into the new project by adding them to a sequence that's already there, but it's not moving any files on disk. They still point to their original locations. So nothing has physically moved and you need to be careful with that because if, for example, you were to move or delete the original project that you've copied from, from the source project, then you may find that there are missing clips, missing assets in your new project. So just be aware of that, that things aren't actually moving on disk, they're just being added to the new project that you have. Now a really useful bonus tip for working in two sequences at the same time is that you can have one sequence open in the program monitor and have the other sequence open in the source monitor so you can see exactly where you're at in each of those two sequences. So we have already got the coffee ritual sequence open in the source monitor. So let me just move to the editing workspace where I have the source monitor available to me. And if I open the demo sequence, in the source monitor, you can see that we can see both of these however we want both of them in the timeline. So the simple thing to do then is to click on the little spanner icon to get the tool settings and then click open sequence in timeline. So now we have both the sequences open and we want to turn them into stacked panels. So there we are. So on the coffee ritual, then you'll see if I move the playhead, that it moves in the program monitor. And if I move the playhead in the demo sequence, it moves in the source monitor. So now you can see exactly where you're at in each of those two sequences if you want to copy and paste between one and the other. So I think you find that that is a really useful way if you have some kind of complex copying or moving of an individual clip or a sequence of clips that have already got attributes on them between one sequence and another. So I hope that you find that useful. It's quite a powerful editing technique. If you learned something from this, then please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. So if you've enjoyed this video and benefited from it, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell and you'll be notified of the new videos as they're uploaded. I'm going to post a new video each week covering Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're interested in learning about these projects, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell and get a new video every week.